Oh, <laughs> just about there. morning start of a new week Ben crews all done with the Ben the finished crews coming in to put the floor in the day and I believe there's a crew coming to start assembling that tower if I'm not mistaken I guess we'll find out today but what they do is they assemble the tower on the ground they assemble each section and then as they stack the leg they stack a section of tower stack a section of leg stack a section of tower stack a section of leg so I would assume that means there's going to be a hundred foot crane in here Pretty sure the leg's 110 foot or 105 foot or something like that. So should be exciting stuff. But go ahead and get our GoPro set up and uh, get out of here. Where are we gonna set that? Capture everything over in this region. That'll work. Hopefully we don't fall off of these things. I think they're done. Dad just pulled in. I think he sees me up here. Morning! So they're starting on the floor. So they got half the crew working on the floor and half of them assembling the tower. The leg's not here. The leg will be here next Monday, a week from the day. But what they're going to do is they're going to assemble the tower in sections. So it'll be in 20 foot sections. They have, they have to weld some of the braces onto it and stuff like that. It's progress. I just wish we were done. All right, I'm going to get my corn head out. Freaking neighbors. Uh, if you didn't know, we did pick up a, an extra corn head. We got this one real cheap, so. It's got some issues with it. We got to get it out and see what those issues are. But price was right. But like every farm, this one has some flat tires. Header wagon, so pump them up first. And we need to be blasted. Perfect. Like I said, that's a that's an older head. Still got metal snouts, but price was right. Let's go. That's our first field that'll be ready to harvest. I'd say. Bad thing is the ends are probably ready. In the middle of the field, there's like nine different varieties, all different maturities, planted within I don't know, probably ten days. So I'd say the ends are ready. The middle, not so much. There's the van man himself, right there. Lunch is over. Back to work. Try to make sure this head will turn. Uh, got a wrench on that pipe, and oh well, yeah, we found a six-foot cheater bar to make sure to budge. It worked. Ended up bringing the head over here to the farm where the combine's at. We need that head up in the air, so might as well just hook it to the combine. Unfortunately, we got to play musical equipment and pretty much unload this barn to get the combine out. Let's get to it. Time lapse interrupted. We just millennial farmered. I got a dead battery. It's a new battery too. It's very upsetting. Now you put the red ones on the black, right? Yeah, you won't far. All right, while the combine's charging, I'll take this over. Uh, need to unhook from the Turbo Max. This tractor's going on the grain cart, so might as well do that. We got we got a little bit of time. Let that charge up. So. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Let's see what we got going on with this combine. Fingers crossed she'll start. Ooh, this thing's a mess. Come on. Come on. No. Not quite enough. Almost started. Yeah, we're still waiting on the battery to charge up, so I'm gonna roll this tile up while we're here. It's left over four inch. Maybe then the combine will start.
Take three. Uh, Dad had me pull it out here out of the way, fire up the uh, separator. I uh, guess just make sure everything's going to work. Then we're going to hook it up to that head and see if we can find it. Safety first, kids. Hey, you're gonna have to give me like a safe word or something when you're recording so I know how it's working. Yeah. New guy's still getting used to talking on camera. Hey, turn. You have to go the wrong way. Put your sheet on. I need to cut that thing off. Hey, buddy. Got it. Hey. Had to customize the cheater bar. Turns free, so we're gonna see if we can't get it to hook up and uh, see, what, see if it'll work. Hey, WD, put it back. Hey, Bridget, hand me that fluid. So. Alright, drive shaft on this side of the head is froze up. Uh, it telescopes inside, the shaft does, and that part seems to be seized up. So in an effort to free that up, we're going to attempt to pull it apart with Dad's pickup truck. Safety first. Okay! Oh, there pull back out. Oh yeah. This feels dirty. Right. We need the WD-40 Specialist Lubricant with the flexible straw. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna flip it on and right back off. All right, here it goes. This one right here won't turn, watch. Looks like we got one seized up. Our gearbox is out, our chain's off, the clutch is slipping. One of them's not working. How's that? Now we're gonna start putting stuff up at 7.30, so come back over here tomorrow and reassess the situation. But we got one gearbox that's not turning. It could be something in the clutch or the gear, like I said, or the gearbox could be out. I don't know. So we got the head cheap, so we'll figure something out. you again dang it oh heck you're probably on your fourth meal now ain't you oh yeah <laughs> frozen gopro good morning guys everybody wave we're on the camera camera's up there but today's the 10th today's my wedding anniversary so don't know how much i'm gonna be around the farm today i got some plans with uh with the wife so we will get to that i do have a couple things to do today on the farm time permitted but did get the cameras up here. The Ben crew should be here to finish putting the floor in that thing. And I assume they're going to work more in the tower. And yeah, hopefully they get a bunch done. And we'll see what we can get done on the harvest prep. Happy anniversary, babe. Eight years. Well, guys, as it turns out, I did basically nothing today other than hang out with my wife and my uh, kids. Like I said, it is our anniversary. I'm not going to get a whole lot of time with them. Holy goodness. That's different. First time I've been over since this morning. But like I said, I'm not going to hang out with them much in the next coming weeks. So making the best of that time while I got it. So just coming over here to get the cameras tonight. Huh. Looks like the tower is pretty much all assembled. Just needs stacked on top of each other. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see if they got the floor done. Looks like the floor's done. So they just need to mount the uh, mount the end of that unload on. That bin will be done. It's the paparazzi. It's that dang shark farmer podcast. Oh no. Well, 
these darn things froze, or one of them did. The one showing out here only got two towers in there, but as you can see, there are five, so enjoy the time lapse. Hey guys, this video is coming out on September the 11th. It's been 18 years since World Trade Towers fell, so at the end of this video I thought we just ought to pay a little bit of respect to some people. Um, the only way I can think to do is just simply by saying never forget. Uh, never, I'll never forget where I was, what I was doing, and yeah, it's, it's an event that we need to remember.